people outside but we are killing ourselves on the inside of us yes. and we don't know what it is My goodness. today I want to remind you that some of us in this room have been committing suicide of the things of God on the inside of us The Bible says, when sin is finished, mm -hmm. it brings forth death. That's right. yes. mm. Nobody pushes you to go sin. Mm. Nobody entertains you. You have to give permission to that thought. You have to give permission to that sin. And once you give permission, you go ahead and do it. Once you yeah. do it, there it comes. And now sin has been causing spiritual death to many of us. And we are not supposed to be the people that don't know why we are waxing cold. Mm -hmm. We are waxing cold because death has happened on the inside of us. We have allowed the things that are not of God on our life. And, and those things have come in and brought death in our spirit. There has been spiritual suicide to the people of God. We have been committing this suicide, killing the thing of God on the inside of us. As I was praying that what it is that God wanted, to, wanted me to speak tonight, He brought forth this. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, the church today. The church today, depressed people come in and will leave the church depressed. Sick people come in and still leave the church still sick. Confused people come in and leave the church confused. People who have given up will come into the church expecting hope and they will leave the church without no hope. People will come to church because their marriage is being broken and still will leave the church the same way they came in. Ah, I want you to know that the church has died. The church has died. We have forgotten where we are supposed to stand. The power of God has left the church today. But we got to go back. We got to go back to the cross. We got to go back and get the power that we needed to have. And have the sick healed. Hallelujah, somebody. I said, Hallelujah, somebody. I said, Hallelujah, somebody. We have to change. We have to change. We got all kind of demon spirit in the church today. We got all kind of sin going on in the church today. The devil is not afraid of the church today. Sin can be committed right in the side of the church because there's no power to destroy it. And the devil is destroying the people of God. The devil is destroying the children. The devil is destroying families. Because of sin. Because of sin. Because of sin. Sin has brought death to our families. Children that are innocent. They're being affected because sin is doing its destruction. Here is what I want to bring to your attention. Why do you still come to church? Why do you still call on the name of Jesus? Why do you still sing hallelujah? Why do you still sing hope? Why? I want you 
remember this. That all we sing and all we say and all we do and everything that we do, if God is not in it, it's nothing. If God is not part of it, it's nothing. Sin, sin has brought the code on the inside of us. And now we entertain the thing that we're not supposed to entertain. We compromise with the thing that we're not supposed to compromise. We call good that which is evil. We call good that which is not of God. Because sin has slipped into the church. And today, the sin is bringing death to the people of God. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. May God help us. Understand that the devil is destroying the church today. Is yes. destroying marriages today. Is destroying families today. Amen. Amen. Look at those chairs. Look at those chairs. They're supposed to have people. Amen. Where are the people? Amen. So I bring the challenge to us as Christians. And this is not just this church. Every church you go to, yes. people have gone. Yes. Yes. Yes, amen. Every church you go to, go out down the street, you'll find the same thing. They have lost hope. And they think they can find hope someplace else. Mm-hmm. But I want you to know something here. It will take you and I and your neighbor and everybody in this room to bring the fire of God back into the church. To bring hope back into the church. It is going to take you and myself to do something extra to bring the fire of God into the church. It is time now we get up. It is time now we do what it is that will bring the fire of God into the church. Hallelujah somebody. I said hallelujah somebody. Before the fire of God is back into the church. Before the fire of God is back into the church. Before before God comes back into our church. We have to change our life. We have to stop committing suicide. Spiritual suicide that we have been doing. Some of you used to pray. And you still seek God with all of your heart. But somewhere in your life, you allowed something that came in and killed your prayer life. You allowed that to come and destroy the desire of God inside of you. That is a, 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 a spiritual suicide. Some of us in this room, used to go out and witness to people. Yes. But we allowed something to come into our lives and it killed the desire to go out and bring somebody in. Yes. That is a spiritual suicide. Oh, Some of us in this room, we, we used to do the thing of God. We'll come to church any time we are needed to go to church. But now we got reasons why we cannot be at church. There is something that's died on this side of you. Oh, man. Some of us used to at 